hi all so today in this video we are going to see about how to call one record action okay how to configure a record action and call this record action from the parent ui to any other interface okay one time we will configure a record action in one interface and if anybody want to use a record action in that interface they can use it kind of reusability okay so that one so for that purpose what i have done here is in our database we have a lot of table you can just search view if a lot of tables will are there for use okay so suppose this is the database table i created a simple uh, entity backed record with the help of that okay so once this is done i even created an interface to add some data in that okay so some in one interface was done to add the data see here this and this is one of the illustration i used it so that it looks a bit better fine add address okay what action i oh sorry this record action also i have added okay so this record action does nothing but just add a, a, a address okay and it is with the help of records only directly okay so this is the process model for that simple write to record and this has a simple record action so let's uh, open this uh, record that we have created okay and see this is the record and here you can see this plus address icon is there and if you try to open it this interface will open but this is accessible from the record list i don't want to access from here i want this record uh, list action in my interface okay and from there i want to configure it so what i will do here is i will try to create a different interface for here okay so let's say something as a parent ui i have created okay so let's consider like one parent interface is there and here we will configure the record action let's take a card layout in the card layout what we will do here is let's take a column layout in one of the column what we will do is add a rich text here great done and in here we want to show the record action so there is even a component for the record action you just need to search it and see here record action is here here it will come okay good and now we let's configure the fields for it first of all let's in the rich text display field we will add here rich text uh, item and in the text what we will do is let's try to write something as a record action to add address something like this i just read written here so that we will know what it is let's increase the size of this to a bit medium underscore plus okay fine so this is and style we will keep it too bit strong so that it is becomes a bit bold okay and the color as well we can keep it too what all colors are there positive great let's see positive color fine so this is just telling us that record action to add address now we have dropped the component of record action as well so let's see what does it has produced in the code so here you will see that here that code is written a bang record action field then actions style display all these things are there okay so what we will do here is inside the actions we will go inside it let's see how to configure the action let's go in the, our uh, documentation here we can see it is configured with using record action item so record action item okay and what is the action the action is where currently see i can't map because this here i want to make it dynamic because any action at the runtime we can give in any other interface as well we can give so i need to create a rule input whenever we have to refer a value from one interface to another interface we have to create rule input so now we will create a rule input for our record action let's just write it action only now the important question what should i give in the type i written the name that's fine but i don't know the type of the record action you might have seen a lot of record action but nowhere type or anything is written and whatever the type that you see here these are all primitive primitive data types okay takes number integer they represent some value but record action is something like kind of action how to define the value so for this hand to handle this kind of situation appian has a different data type for example any type is there so it will accept any type of data so that we can configure it okay for the any type let's create click on create once we have done that 
in the action we will go and map the rule input action that's it done see in expression mode actually nothing is visible so whatever we have done we can't see it let's go switch to the design mode and here you will see what things currently you can see here it is saying no action visible because we haven't defined the actions let's click on save change now what we will do here is we will try to call this okay so we will try to call this in some other interface so i have just opened an unnamed interface and let's try to call it here let's go in the expression mode let's try to rule bank what is the name of this interface that we have just created ys underscore parent ui great parent ui now we have done that now one error we are getting that it has one parameters but instead zero parameters passed so one parameter was there but no parameter was passed so we will just put action great but now the question is like how can i define that action term so suppose like where is the action present the action is in the record so we have to just write as our record only so ys address is there okay so instead of this we will uh, put the address ys address great and here if we go to the actions or fields generally most probably we use fields only but there are actions as well so let's try to use the actions here we have done the action here and see what happened great here we have successfully implemented a record action that was present in our parent interface now in this interface but the size and bit is a you know like a bit smaller let's go in this ui can we format it a bit it can't be formatted a lot but let's see what other options are available to format it so style is there toolbar display is this one open action is it is already open in a dialog box that is fine where you want to align it so style only let's see so these are the different if you want at like cards so let's try to choose as cards okay so like this and let's try to test it see like this even it will appear so let's what we will do here you know like uh, there are different things we need to practice and this is a text so we will create a rule input here to even style it okay so here we will create a rule input of text okay great and here instead of the cards we will pass our rule input of style okay so that no need to change the parent ui again and again why to disturb it we are configuring it here only now let's choose the style so what was the different style first style was tool okay sorry toolbar okay so in toolbar this is how it looks let's uh, choose the other one let's give something wrong see happy and only tell you like what you can give let's choose call to action this time we have chosen call to action great oh great now it is looking much better and see it it is not a dummy it will actually work okay so let's try to add some city mumbai amchi mumbai something right <laughs> okay maharashtra great and street is something like uh, oh what to give in a street something like second street i have just given okay uh not sure what is the pin code of here anybody from mumbai can tell me some format but fine let's leave it and let's try to submit so currently let's try to submit data it even works as well okay so let's go in our database and let's see it initially 24 now this much record is there 26 or something see here mumbai is added mumbai maharashtra second street and this it works as well great and uh, one more was there you can choose anything you can play with it whatever the card we want like this if we want we can change it but i guess the color is not changeable that's one thing is there i don't think color can be changed so color will be like this alignment can be changed so currently what is the alignment what we will do here is let's take the alignment there as well as a rule input let's choose the text parameter okay and in alignment we will create a rule input align fine let's save our changes and let's put the align here so let's align it to the end let's see how does it work okay it doesn't change much visual okay what we have else in the alignment center is there can we put in the center okay so it is not changing fine if more item would be there then it would have been a bit visible as well but fine I was just wrong. so i guess it was clear okay 
so we have learned to put a from parent ui we have created one record action okay we have made it dynamic some more components we have made it dynamic and we have referred here okay so that's all for now thank you